Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the problems regarding the signal flow graph. So in this, the first problem is, first problem is given like this. So here the problem is, one is x1, another one is x2. It has a gain of 5 and it has a loop of 0.5. In signal flow graph, x2 equal to tx1, then what is t? So before taking the problem, better to again redraw the signal flow graph. Here, this is the x1. It has only incoming, so that's why we can name it, it is as an input. And it consisting of the gain, that value is 5. And it has incoming and outgoing, it has only, it has, so it is outgoing, so it has only incoming, that's why it is x2. You can name it, it as a output and it has a self loop that is the 0.5 so for that we need to find out x2 and x, x1 so he, if you mention x2 equal to tx1 so if you modify this x2 by x1 then that is t what is x2 output what is x1 input what is this t he is asking to find out the transfer function so for that purpose, you have to use the Moses gains formula. So in that Moses gains formula, first you need to write del value first. What is del? Del equal to 1 minus sum of individual loop product of two non-touching loops. Sum of individual loops. How many loops we have? So before del, just write down the loops. How many loops we consist? There is only one loop that is L, take it as L1, that loop value is only the 0.5, that is the self, that is P1, L1 is 0.5, better to take P1, forward path, loop 1 is 0.5, generally, okay, loop 1, it consisting of the gain is 0.5, so better to, and you will find out the del, del equal to 1 minus sum of individual row. We have only one row that is the 0.5. That value is the 0.5. Now you can use the Moses gains formula. What is Moses gains formula? It will give the transfer function that is P1 del 1 by del. So here what is P1? P1 means gain gain of forward path we have only one forward path that's why we have only p1 between input and output gain value is the phi so this is the phi then what is del 1 del 1 means 1 minus so this 0.5 loop is touching to this gain that's why it is 0 value is 1 so 5 into 1 by what is del del value is also del value 1 minus sum of 0.5 so del value is the 0.5 so 0.5 will become 10 times then the transfer function is become 10 times that means simply the t value equals to 10 t value is become the 10 okay this is the procedure simply Whenever you are writing the forward path 1, you have to write the del 1 also. Del 1 means the del without having the forward path 1. Del 1 means value of del removing the forward path 1, non-touching loop of the P1. Okay, just keep that mind then you will do the any problem next problem if you did the if you did this you will understand clearly about the forward paths clearly about the forward paths first look at the problem r and c find the transfer function so before starting the forward functions first you took it took it the forward paths and second loops so first you take it the forward pause. 
how many forward paths are available so if you look at here this is the one forward path this way is the one forward path you can take it as the p1 that forward path is this again 2 into 3 into 4 2 3 is 6 6 4 is 24 this is the forward path 1 next where is the forward path 2 this is not a path but observe here this is the another forward path this is the another forward path so took it as forward path 2 so this is the 5 okay this is the 5 forward paths are completed loops how many loops are available loops this is the one loop loop one loop um, so for that you can take loop gains loop gains are take it as a loop one loop one two into minus one equal to minus two this is the one loop another loop is loop two for loop two gain is the three into minus one that is the minus three for loop three loop 3 4 into minus 1 this is the minus 4 these are the 4 these are the individual loops okay individual loop and any other loop is there we have loop 4 also that is look at the loop 4 loop 4 is observe here this 5 and this is also the one loop so you can write 5 into this is the loop gain and this is the minus 1 and this loop is again the minus 1 and this loop is again the minus 1 this loop is 5 into minus 1 and this is the minus 5 completely this is the minus 5 okay right so loops are over next product term two non touching loops two non touching loops we have to take product of the two non touching loops so here look at here this loop and this loop are non touching that's why we can write it as minus 2 into minus 4 that will give the minus 5 so if you observe any loop that will one loop will touch the another loop this loop is touching this loop this loop is touching this loop this loop is touching loop but these two loops are non touching loops that is we can take non touching loops which are non touching loops l1 and the l3 are the non touching loops okay so that is also completed next del we need to find out the del value del means 1 minus sum of individual loops so where is the sum of individual loops individual loops is first loop is minus 2 is the one gain minus 3 minus 4 and the minus 5 plus product of two non touching loops so look at here here the product of two non touching loops product of two non touching loops is minus 2 into minus 4 you will get the 8 so if you do the simplification you will get like this 1 minus 5 and minus 9 minus 14 so and minus 5 minus 4 so minus 14 plus minus 14 plus 8 okay look at here minus 2 minus 5 minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 minus 14 plus 8 so if you modify this you will get finally 18 9 minus 14 minus 13 plus 8 and we have again minus here don't forget the minus here 
because these all are minus okay so by finding the value you will get 23 finally you will get the del value is 23 what is del 1 del 1 minus del 1 means uh, um, 1 minus non touching non touching gain so loop 1 is so this is the p1 path for this path loop 1 is touching loop 2 is touching loop 3 is touching loop 4 also the touching so that's why this is the 0 that's why this is the 0 you will get the 1 and del 2 del 2 means 1 minus that means path this is the path 2 from this this loop is non touching I can write this is the minus 3 minus 3. so by using this you will get the 4 you will get the 4 so therefore I can write the transfer function the formula is p1 del 1 plus p2 del 2 by del so where is the p1 p1 is 24 and what is the del 1 del 1 value is the 1 plus p2 5 and del 2 value is the 4 why what is the del value del value is the 23 so therefore the transfer function value is the 24 this is the 24 and this is the 20 you will get the 44 and this is the 23 okay this is the procedure to do this type of the problems i hope all of you understand this session this session gives the problems regarding to the signal flow graphs okay thank you